Hi, I have a haul video for you which is going to focus on jigsaw puzzles, but I thought I would show you three Tim Jeff's animal sketches books that I received. This is Birds. Now he does most of his books in hardcover and he has quite a few sketches in uh, PDF form, like we're talking about dozens and dozens and dozens. Well, this here, and I know he has a cardboard because I use Mod Podge. This here is Birds, so I thought I would just show you this really quickly because I this really makes me want to color. I love that they always have coloring tips in the books, and then you got the pictures. The paper is not the best quality compared to what I'm used to in his books, but the pictures are lovely. And also, I believe in his books, all the backgrounds are black, but the, the backgrounds in this are white. I also got Sea Life that I want to show you. And again, you're going to have some coloring instructions and 15 C images. Oh, I like this, how I like this background. So I wanted to show you that. And then this is uh, one of his new ones uh, Baby Animals, Endangered Baby Animals. This is the one that I want to color in, and I don't color right now but I really want to color in this one. So no doubt, I would take a look. Oh, okay, look at this, spreading awareness through coloring. He, he's talking about the endangered animals. So I just wanted to show you that. This tells you what books, what pictures are in this book. Turn it the right way. So because this is a haul video and I just got these three, I thought I would show you. So that's that. Now. This is a happy mail that I'm eager to share with you. And in this happy mail, it came in, in a novel, a, you know, like an Amazon packaging, but then it came in this box. And it's from my sister Ari, and I'm sure she'll watch this video. So thank you so much, Ari. I just wanted to share this. See if I have, yes, I have it turned the right way. It's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful cup show you this side of it and that side of it look at that isn't that beautiful look at the detail look at that that's that's stunning it comes with a spoon with the same type of detail and a little uh, decorative coaster thing like that and I think that's it oh something to to wipe it like if I if it gets fingerprints on it or something I guess but I just had to show you this um, this beautiful cup that I received as a gift from my sister she's diamond painting now and this was her way of thanking me for introducing her to diamond painting so that's my happy mail in the middle of this haul I'm gonna put it away carefully I'm not sure where I'm going to place it and until I find a place I'm going to carefully put it there. Now, the main event. Now, I did a puzzle that I shared, and I, I'm going to show it to you when I get to it in order. But it, since October of last year, I placed a lot of these in my Amazon shopping cart for save to later. I know you're just looking at a white table. And finally, I decided to go ahead and, and get these puzzles. And they are the um, it doesn't say it on here but they are the Cobble Hill Rainbow Series Puzzle I'm going to move my iPad back sorry for the glare they are 1000 piece random cut puzzles They, when they're completed they're the regular cut, cut, um, puzzle size which is 26.625 inches times 19 inches this is the artist is Shelly Davies all of the uh, jigsaw puzzles that I show you will be from Shelly Davies in this Cobble Hill from Cobble Hill. Um, this is red, so think of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, and so forth. So I'm going to try to show you these in order of the rainbow. It's a little blurry, so we're going to fiddle with... There we go still a little bit blurry so this is red now 
there are, I believe, seven colors in the rainbow. Now, these random cut puzzles are called collage puzzles, and this is the rainbow series. Even though this box doesn't say it, some of the boxes will say rainbow series. And random cut means that the pieces are not standard pieces. Uh, they're not like in a regular puzzle. Um, let's see if, if I can find one that's not. In a regular puzzle, you have pieces like this, you know, the standard. This is standard cut. Whereas in a random cut, the sheep, the shapes could, the pieces could be any shape whatsoever. And I don't, I did not like random cut puzzles. As a matter of fact, bits and pieces, I ordered four puzzles from them about a year ago and I discovered they were random cut and I sent them back. But now that I've done this, I will give bits and pieces another look-see because I don't mind random cut. So in every puzzle in this collection, Everything that's related to that color is in it. So it will say red throughout the puzzle. I see it three or four times. And you have all these red things. So that's red. Again, we're going in order of the rainbows as best I can. The next one. Uh oh, we have a wire. Let's get rid of the wire. Give me one moment, please. The next one, and I move the camera, is orange. Again, everything related to orange would be in here. And here you go. Isn't this beautiful? These are very difficult puzzles, collage puzzles, but I collect collage puzzles. I have a good dozen of Amy Stewart's collage puzzles. Um, I have uh, Colin Thompson's collage puzzles. I have White Mountain uh, puzzle companies, collage puzzles. So this is orange. Then we get to yellow. Oh, this wire is being difficult today. Then we get to yellow. Look at this. The yellow dog, yellow there, and of green gables. Oh, that's amazing that they put this in yellow. Okay, there you go. Yellow. Now green came in a smaller box, which so did blue. When we get to blue, you'll see blues in a smaller box, but they're still the same size jigsaw puzzle. Still 1,000 pieces, still by Shelly Davies, and still the same measurement. And so you see the artist named Shelly Davies, which is so blurry. Let's try to... Waiting to see if it... All right, can't get it any better, but this is green, which green is my favorite color, but I'm going to try to assemble these in order of the rainbow, so that means I'll be starting with red. This is blue, which I've done, and it's in the process of being Mod Podged. <laughs> That's not even a word. It's in the process of being glued with Mod Podge. The first layer is down, and I will put down a couple more layers. So this is blue, completed. Got three missing pieces, though. I'm working on that. Then we have pink, which I don't really think pink is part of the rainbow, but this is uh, another one that from Shelly Davies in the series. Um, try to get them out of frame. Then we have the last one, which is purple, which happens to be my favorite, but I am going in order. So I'm going to try to go in order. I don't have to because... I'm going to glue them and put them to the side, so I really don't necessarily have to go in order, but I'm going to try to go in order. So this is purple. Then I discovered that there were two more Shelly Davies puzzles that kind of are kind of in this theme, and this one is Colorful Rainbow. This is going to be super hard. This is going to be a challenge, but this is Colorful Rainbow. But I'm up to the challenge because I've done quite a few. Then I found this one, Black and White Animals. Now somebody just told me on one of my Facebook groups that this was the hardest of the series so far because it's all black and white. But no worries, I'll get it. Then they had four elements. So let me show you the four elements. You have air. Look at how pretty this is. I like this one because to me it's a clean puzzle. When I say clean, there's a lot of blue 
a sky and obviously because it's air so this to me is the cleanest if that makes any sense then we have earth and no i don't ha have any idea what order the elements go in but we have earth beautiful beautiful i love that it's a lot of green because green is my favorite color now what i'll probably do with these is i'll probably intersperse these with the rainbow ones since there's four of these and here we have fire look at this one. Oh my gosh i'm kind of thinking of doing this one next i love this one. Oh my gosh then the last in the elements is water again it's got that clean look that air has i love these puzzles absolutely love them these are cobble fill collage puzzles random cut all by the let's get you all random cut here i can't get that any clearer guys let's try there we go all random cut by artist Shelly Davies. And some information on the back of the boxes, obviously in different languages. So I am being ignorant here because I can't. Here we go. Here's US, Canada, and Britain. Each and every puzzle from Cobble Hill is crafted to our museum quality standards using the finest inks and varnishes. Our puzzles feature linen, textured paper, and premium goods, blue board, and 100% recycled chipboard. The pieces are random shaped, which means the puzzles are more interesting to assemble because no two pieces are alike. That's Cobble Hill. Now, I just wanted to show you a couple different collage puzzles since I told you I, I collect collage puzzles. And I don't have them picked up, but like here's one. This is Sunken Treasure. This is, ooh, we got blurriness. This is Amy Stewart's, and it's called Sunken Treasure. So these are the type of puzzles that Amy Stewart does. Um, let's get another Amy Stewart collage puzzle. Here's another one, it's called Kitchy Cute. So I collect collage puzzles. I wanna show you a couple of Colin Thompson. Some of these are shrink wrapped because I haven't had time to do them yet. I'm gonna try to move these other puzzles without hitting the camera. So here's a Colin Thompson collage puzzle. I absolutely love collage puzzles. Now I know I showed the puzzles on my channel, but I just wanted to show you some of the collage puzzles that I like. Uh, have I done this one? I'm trying to find one that I've done. Here's another Colin Thompson, but I haven't done this one. I've only done two of this and so far, okay. Here's the Colin Thompson that I've completed. I've done this one. So, and I've done one more. But I have six of Colin Thompson's. Now, I want to show you another type of collage puzzle that I collect. And they are from White Mountain Puzzles. I'm telling you this in case you're interested. Now, by the way, Amy Stewart, Colin Thompson, and White Mountain all do standard cut. The typical cut that you're used to seeing in jigsaw puzzles. Not random cut. So this is television history. That's a collage puzzle. Uh, let's see another collage puzzle. Uh, okay, here's one. I'll get two more. Here's Boston. I'm a Bostonian. This is a collage puzzle. But this, I think, will be kind of easy because it's just different pictures. So I just have to, that, that'll be an easy one. And I'll show you maybe one or two more. Here, look at this one. The games we played. Another collage. I, I have uh, Charles Wysocki and Chuck Pinson and Terry Redlin and Daryl Bush and countless other puzzles that are standard puzzles. But I like collage puzzles as well. I have puzzles. I have Ravensburger puzzles. I have Anatolian puzzles, uh, mega puzzles, buffalo puzzles. But I'm just showing you my collage puzzles. And this is one here. So I'm not feeling so great because I had my COVID vaccine number two. So I'm about to 
uh, collapse into bed. But while I'm talking these last couple of seconds, I'll uh, just show you this. Now, I want to tell you something. I reached 800 subscribers on this channel. If you have made it through the end of this video, which I should have given you a clue at the beginning, if you made it through the end of this video, do know that a giveaway is coming up on this channel. And if you're interested in a giveaway, what I will do is I will give a $25 Amazon gift certificate, or if you're a diamond painter, a gift certificate to either Treasure Studios Art, Diamond Art Club, or Dreamer De Designs. So it's up to you um, if you're interested. So uh, keep that in mind that that's coming up maybe in my next video. So I want to thank you. Sorry for sounding so blah, but it's just the side effect. So I just wanted to share this because I just received the last of this collection. So that is it for now. And here's the mess I've got to clean up. And I've got to clean up over here. <laughs> so, and there over there is the blue that's glued the first layer of Mod Podge. I'm letting it dry and then I will put a second layer on it. And that's it. There's a cat in the window, by the way. All right. So thank you very much for your time. Bye-bye. Just going to shut this off.